welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya and today's video is going to be my top baby must-haves for a newborn up to an infant. For just the background, um, I am 24 years old and I am a mom of two. I have a two-year-old son and a three-month-old son. Um, so these items are some that I've used for both of my children and then some of them I've used with just my youngest son. So I just wanted to share with you guys the things that have helped us through uh, transitioning from having just one kid to two kids and even just helped us in the newborn to infant stage that we're in now. So for starters, the first thing that I would um, recommend to any new mom, first time mom or anything is to get some sort of bassinet or bed for your baby to sleep in. So with our oldest son, he preferred to sleep with us so we didn't really, we had a bassinet, but we rarely used it. With our youngest son, he did not want to be touched or bothered while he was sleeping. So we have this bassinet that we got. It's a Fisher Price. I think it's called the Stow and Go um, Baby Bassinet, but it has this option where you can put batteries in it and it vibrates the bed. And it's very easy to take with you like portable wise. Each one of these legs comes off and it collapses completely flat and it has like a little carrying bag that goes with it. Um, and it has this little pad right here and this pad cover does come off so that you can wash it if you need to. Um, and it's just very, it's very good for newborns. Now my son has outgrown this so he doesn't sleep in this, he sleeps in his crib now. but. When he was a newborn, it was very helpful and we really liked it. The second thing that I would say for us is this little like activity chair thing. We got this with our oldest son. Somebody gave it to us for his baby shower and we never really used it until he was a little bit older, but I found that my youngest son really likes this chair. Um, he would prefer to sit in this chair over anything. It comes with little toys for him to look at or even try to grab at. It does have a little thing so you can like buckle him in. It rocks. There's also the option down here where you can put batteries in it and it will vibrate. And also when they get a little bit older or even like now, if I don't want him to rock, it does have like a little kickstand thing right here where you can just put it up and the seat just kind of like reclines back. And this seat has buttons on the side where the seat level can go up and down so this is as far back as it goes but it also sits straight up like a regular chair okay so now that all of the bigger things are out of the way we can start working on or we can start talking about more of the little things um so my next item that i would recommend to anybody is a good diaper bag now this diaper bag we use for both my toddler and my infant, um, and it just has a lot of space in it. It's very big, very open. I would recommend this diaper bag to anybody or even just a diaper bag that is convenient and just something that you can always rely to keep all your stuff in because with kids, you have to keep a lot of things <laughs> all the time. Um, I also have a video that talks about what I keep in my diaper bag if you guys want to watch it. Next, this is more for like breastfeeding moms. Um, I did breastfeed my, actually I breastfed both of my sons, but only for a little bit. Both of them um, had some issues with breastfeeding, so it only lasted a few weeks, a month of that. Um, but this is the Haka breast pump. Um, and basically it has this little, little flower thingy. It's like silicone that you could put in here to like, so it doesn't spill out. But basically this is to catch your letdown when you're breastfeeding or nursing. Um, you just flip it over like this and you suction it to your nipple. And whenever your child is nursing or if you're pumping, you can put it on the side as well. If you only have one, a single breast pump. Um, and it catches your letdown so that all of your milk just stays there. Um, I was never really a big milk producer, so I didn't really ever get a lot out of this, but I do know um, a few moms who um, had an oversupply and they would fill this whole thing up like just while their kid was nursing. So could you imagine losing all of that milk if you didn't have this 
but kind of to go along with the feedings um, if your child is formula fed like mine are now I really enjoy these we have two of them in two different colors and two different styles but these are formula holders so basically it just has this little hole that you can um, when you're pouring a bottle like anything a bottle you just pour it in there um, but it also has these three individual compartments where you can fill it up with the formula so that when you're on the go or even like at home I like to use them so that whenever um, I'm making a bottle I don't have to sit there and like scoop it every time it's already just prepared for me and I just pour it in the bottle with the water and we're good to go next for my youngest son, we never had to use this for my oldest son ever, um, is gripe water. I use the Mommy's Bliss. This is the nighttime one because that's usually when he gets it. Um, when he was about four or five weeks old, he had such a hard time with gassiness and reflux and all kinds of other things. We had to switch his formula to soy formula. So this really helped him a lot. Um, it is to help with relieves occasional stomach discomfort from gas, colic, fussiness, or even hiccups. So he gets this um, at night when he needs it, and it's like, it's a godsend. Next for um, me would be a very reliable, good baby monitor. Now there are a ton, a ton of different kinds of baby monitors out there. The one that we use is this Motorola double um, monitor. That way, I, well, I have two kids. So I have one's in one room, one's in the other room. And basically, you just push it like when it turns on. And it alternates between, it alternate. you can have it set on just one screen, both screens. Um, you can have it where it does what mine does is where it just alternates every like 20, 30 seconds. It just flips between each camera so you can hear them and see them um, both at the same time basically. But yes, um, I would highly recommend a very good monitor that you know you can rely and trust. I struggled really bad when I was pregnant with my second son with anxiety about my oldest son so I would literally stay up all night and just watch the baby monitor and it just gives me like a peace of mind to know that like if he wakes up or if something happens like I can hear him and I know he's okay and this particular monitor I really like it because it's the the video is so clear on it I can literally see my child breathing in it like I can watch him breathe so it really does give me a piece of mind. Next thing that I have is, this is mainly for newborns, although my both of my sons used one of these, uh, my oldest son used one of these pretty much until he was like crawling, um, is a sleep sack. They have different styles and different kinds. This is the ones that we like, the ones with the sleeves. I know that some of them come like tank tops and you just put them on your baby with like a onesie on underneath it or something. But we prefer these. It's just have something that has always worked for us. And it's basically just a zip up. There's no legs in it. It's just like a little sack for them to sleep in. My husband really enjoys these because one of his least favorite things is getting babies dressed in like sleepers because he thinks he's gonna hurt them <laughs> but so if if it's his turn to put the baby to sleep the baby's most likely gonna be in a sack and that's perfectly fine but yes these are highly recommended also just any sleeper in general that has a zipper because in the middle of the night especially with newborns and you your baby is waking up to eat you do not want to be messing with buttons on a sleeper at two or three o'clock in the morning zippers are the way to go the last thing that i want that i would recommend is the sound machine this is our portable one um now the he does have a hatch sound machine that's in his bedroom but he's using it so i'm not going to get it from him i'm just going to leave it like that but yes we do use the portable one for, it hangs on his car seat with this little thing and it's just battery powered and when we're out and he's sleeping and he needs sound this works perfect um, now there are a few other things that I wanted to mention of things that I do like for having children, newborns in general, um, that I prefer, like that I like to use and that help me is one, 
a carrier. And when I say that, I mean like a sling. I have a sling um, and also the one that you like wear kind of like a backpack. Um, I have one of each of those and I enjoy those, especially if you have younger kids as well because it frees your hands and you maybe so close to you and they can sleep and be comfortable without you having to just hold them the whole time. Um, and then the last thing is a glider chair. Uh, we didn't use one with my first one either, but we did use it for my second son and he enjoys it. It's very comfortable for me to sit in to feed him and to rock him if he needs to be rocked. So I really enjoyed those. Um, and I enjoyed having that with him as well, but yeah. Um, so that's pretty much all of the things that I use either on a daily basis or close to a daily basis or that I did use um, really early on and helped us out tremendously. Um, so if you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next one.